Hello everyone, welcome to another exciting episode of What You Heard, and it's Tuesday, and that means we're talking about Kiro Kiro Benito. Now, Kiro Kiro Benito is a band coming out of London, England. They are doing great music. They are doing a good kind of blend of uh, experimental and sometimes hip-hop, sometimes more alternative. They really kind of do whatever they want, and that might be a little bit uh, hard to get into their music because you don't know where to start. Well, I'm going to give you a guide right now and kind of show you a little overview of all the Kiro Kiro Benito projects that have been happening over the years, including the new one, came out two weeks ago, and we're just going to get right into it. So the first project we're going to talk about is Intro Bonito, the first mixtape from the band. Now Intro Bonito is definitely a great start to a great band. They of course fall flat on a couple things, but their highlights really bring them up. They really have a very interesting style. Something that they're going to carry with them throughout their entire career is the instrumentation. Uh, never afraid to do something a little quirky, never afraid to do something a little weird. They focus mostly on synths on this album and go toward a more hip-hop approach at times and go toward a more electronic approach at other times and sometimes being right in the middle. Um, their lead vocalist, Sarah, always delivering good. She does a lot more rapping on this album than she does on any others coming up. Uh, she has sort of a deadpan delivery in her rap, which is I find very good, especially with some of the tongue-in-cheek kind of things that they say. Uh, the whole tone of Kiro Kiro Vinio is very light, very light-hearted, but this album has a lot more kind of tongue-in-cheek, kind of uh, avant-garde. But I think it always stays pretty simple and pretty light, and that's what I really love about Kiro Kiro Benito. Here are a couple tracks from this to see how you can watch your whistle. Whichever console you play, no matter how many hours a day, I could win at any game with a real boy or a girl or a supercomputer. It's often said I should get some girly hobbies instead. But that carrot, carrot, boombox, carrot, carrot, coke, coke, carrot, carrot, dove to me, not a party, dance hall, carrot, carrot, chaotic, carrot, carrot, gun crime. But that is not all the band had to offer. They came back hot in 2016 with their first album, Benito Generation. Benito Generation was kind of the natural progression that the band could go to. They dropped some of their hip-hop quality, but still continued to do rap songs within their album, and still continued to do very tongue-in-cheek kind of things time to time, but they focused a lot more on being poppy on this album. But it's really great pop. You cannot be mad at them for that. There's a lot more singing going on. Sarah has a great voice, and the production really brings that out uh, with a lot of fun. This album is just fun. There's a lot of fun going on. There are a lot of fun little things talking about. No subject matter is left untouched. They can really talk about anything from from fish bowls to painting to taking pictures in the city. Lots of different things they can talk about, but always very entertaining. Very fun to just put on. I will say there are a couple songs that I don't like as much, but you might differ. Uh, I can't say I don't like them for a reason. It's just kind of personal taste. So you might differ completely, but this is definitely a solid album. And this one really put them on the map. These are the best days of our lives. That's what the grown-ups told us, right? Tapping my pencil, waiting for the bell. Thinking what to say in my last farewell. Hey teacher, leave those kids alone. Now going into this year, Kiro Kiro Benito dropped an EP called Totab, and it was pretty good, but it was definitely a departure from the style. Now fans did not know what to think about this EP at first, it was a complete departure once again from their style, this time dropping the synths and going more with an alternative punk rock kind of feel, a lot more guitar work going in, dropping rapping completely, going directly into scene, and they were not as silly as they used to be, they were focusing a little more on more serious quote unquote topics, at least not getting too crazy but still very tongue-in-cheek, still very light-hearted. So it was more or less the same band. And the one thing you couldn't fault them on is they were still making excellent fucking music. In this four-song EP, they released such great tracks, like Only Acting and You Know How It Is. You Know How It Is always sticks out to me as one of the band's best songs. I, I truly love it. Let's take a listen. Hey, 
Time and place. Now this album hasn't been out very long, but it's already grown on me. I will say I didn't I didn't like it as much when it first came out. I think I was feeling the KKB blues. I was like, oh, they did this before. It was even a departure from the EP, uh, cause the EP had a lot more hard kind of rock, and they went a little more back to their synth roots. So I can't fault them. No matter how they change, though, they are still the same Caro Caro Benito. They are still making excellent melody. They're just a little bit less quirky, a little bit more serious, and I can respect the direction they want to go. Hey, there are still great bangers in this stuff. No matter if they're not doing rap anymore, they still have wonderful production, wonderful singing. The beats are always great. The instrumentation's good. They're really taking a lot more risk here with the experimental quality of the music. Sometimes at the end of only acting, it really fucking gets you, dude. But but this is still a great album, and I would still give it a hearty listen. Here's some tracks. <laughs> is a quick rundown on KKB. Now, of course, I cannot talk about everything the band has done in a short time, and I mostly don't want to, because I want to encourage you to go find out some good stuff. Yeah, go through their singles, they have plenty. Go through their remix albums, go through the covers that other artists have done of their songs. There's a lot of things to go into, and I look forward to more projects from KKB. I think that they're gonna be around for a while. They are genuinely building up some steam and a cold following turn into just a normal popular following and I think they got some good stuff coming down and that's going to be it for this episode of what you heard thank you for joining me and I will be back on Friday to talk about albums I love and you can catch me next week talking about god knows what I don't even know what yet but yeah see ya